Hi guys, today we have something completely new on the menu. Now, here we have the all new Logitech G950. Wait, it's working without wires? Yeah, guys, it is. And it is only because this is the all new Logitech G915 RGB mechanical wireless keyboard. Now I have to say when I entered the office and I was handed this keyboard, well actually two keyboards because one is right here already connected to my PC, uh, I was feeling so excited uh, when I read here it says wireless RGB mechanical gaming keyboard and when I read that I was so excited that um, I was told have a, have a glass of water to calm yourself down because you're gonna get a heart attack. Now this is something, you know I hate wires, I just simply don't like to see wires except for these two because they are power and for the uh, internet when I have a custom build or something over there. but. Never mind that, this is the all new Logitech G915 RGB mechanical wireless keyboard and it looks sick and I mean when it looks sick it has the aluminium magnesium top 5052 body, it's fully slick, flat, flat keycaps, new switches which are GL, uh, linear and tactile and this is, well this is a completely new thing uh, all around from Logitech. Now you have the memory buttons for I don't know memorizing your keys on the G from G1 to G5. You have M1, M2, M3, and MR. You have the light speed technology. You have the Bluetooth as well. You have the gaming mode button, and you have the brightness button of the LEDs here beneath the keycaps. Also you have the light for the caps lock. You have the battery indicator, so when it is normally charged, it lights up green, and most likely when it's empty, it's or few percent beneath the threshold when you have to worry about <laughs> charging your keyboard, uh, it turns red. You also have a light speed. This is most likely here the receiver or something because it right next to it you have the uh, USB connector. Uh, on the other hand, uh, above the numerical lock or numerical pad, you have the screw wheel for volume adjustment or maybe you could adjust it uh, through your Logitech Gaming software. I don't know because uh, I still don't have the Logitech Gaming software to test those things out. But on the other hand, you also have the uh, multimedia buttons here right beneath the screw wheel, which is really cool. On the far left side, you have the Logitech. Uh, G logo which lights up the same thing uh, the same way as the whole keyboard now the lights are really cool and these are the new switches they even have the different mechanism uh, apart from the Romer G switches now you've seen the keyboard you see how it looks it looks really nice i love the magnesium uh, aluminium finish it's really really nice the keyboard is very flat and this is something as i said r really promising in the future to get the mechanical keyboards into wireless segment of gaming they did an amazing job with mice and uh, now it's time for keyboard. In my opinion, the next thing is a TKL keyboard wireless mechanical gaming RGB. So yeah, that will be really cool and that will be probably next in line for my setup as well. Now, okay, enough with the talking. We're going to test one of the keyboards and we're going to, after the testing, we're going to see, well, you're going to hear uh, how the clicks are on each of the keyboards, so tactile and linear to hear the sound of the clicks. Let's go gaming, guys.
Now since we're talking here about a completely different switch from Logitech and that uh, the keycaps are complete, almost flat it does need a certain time to get used to but I honestly enjoyed playing on the uh, I was playing on the tactile switches constantly and they're really cool they have a nice response and the best thing didn't have any lag whatsoever with the light speed and the receiver being right on front of the case I didn't experience any lag in movement or when I pressed the button that the uh, figure in the battlefield, the guy in the battlefield didn't move that way or something similar. So the keyboard is really amazing. Uh, the adjustment of the volume in game is available through the scroll here on, on the top and I, I don't know what to say actually because these keyboards are really nice and when you combine their Logitech, uh, I would say performance peripherals, which are for office and of power users, and then you have these gaming peripherals, and then you combine everything together in a certain mixture, and you get a slick, nice design, and you get a gaming keyboard which is also wireless, and you can connect it with Bluetooth, and you can connect it with the uh, USB dongle, and I mean, you get perfection. I can clearly say this is just some next level stuff that needs to be expanded. It needs to be expanded. I'm expecting uh, next up to be G915 TKL version uh, of the same keyboard and that is my next keyboard definitely. It will be this one because it's gorgeous, but I just simply don't need the numerical uh, pad, the numerical keys at all. So, okay guys, uh, we need to test the clicks. So, we have the tactile switches here and we have the linear switches here. So, I'm just going to turn off this keyboard so I don't write on my computer. But okay, so tactile first. It doesn't sound that loud as usual mechanical keyboards and I need to press even harder just to get the sound of uh, almost any mechanical keyboard so the, uh, the tactile are really nice you need to press them a bit maybe harder than Romer G because they have a certain actuation that needs to be okay okay let's go to the linear switches now they're even quieter. Is this possible that the mechanical keyboard has key switches that are very, very acceptable by noise? And they have a smaller, they have a smaller force feedback than the tactile switches, so that makes them quieter, easier to use because the response, the force feedback is easier to achieve. And this is me trying to make a sound on the keyboard. I mean this is unnoticeable to be honest because Romer G even though they weren't uh, very uh, loud you can still hear them and for some it it was a bit annoying but for me it was you know normal but this GL tactile and linear switches are almost quiet and you heard them and you can decide which is best for you of course now the next thing we need to do is that you get in a box something else of course now in the box you get also nicely packaged I have to mention that because the box looks uh, great the keyboard looks great and the whole package looks brilliant you have braided cable here which can be used for extending your receiver or for charging your keyboard you have this this is the extender that you plug into the cable and this is the uh, USB dongle that is a wireless receiver for your keyboard so if your I don't know if your computer is a meter away like this you won't have a lag whatsoever I would say even more because well I can't move my 
computer case somewhere else but I could go anywhere uh, near the room and it will work perfectly also you have this and this is the safety compliance and warranty information about the keyboard so everything is nicely packed it looks really nice the keyboards are really brilliant and I would say this is the next thing in gaming definitely some of you might laugh because uh, I'm not a professional gamer but still the, the amount of gaming I do is still enough to conclude that maybe for professional gamers it isn't since TKL uh, keyboards are most uh, valued in the esports and uh, that kind of competitive gaming but I would say if you're a gamer that streams or that similar kind of gaming this is it guys i mean no wires everything is perfect the design the looks the keys the key switches the lights brilliant so guys that's it g915 rgb mechanical wireless gaming keyboard what else could you ask for a keyboard uh, don't forget to check the links below i'll leave everything as usual below for you to click to check to watch to buy if you want if you don't want don't buy it's up to you but I think I did a lot of uh, nice words about this keyboard and well thumbs up for me definitely without a doubt this is the thing thank you for watching of course and if you like the video click the thumbs up button and don't forget to click the sub as well it means a lot to me see you guys next time bye bye